A few years ago, I interviewed a selection of teachers and I asked them, what's the role of the course book in your classroom? And overall, I got three different types of response. Here's teacher A. Well, when I go into the classroom, I need to open the course book and I want to know that when I start at exercise one, it's going to flow into exercise two. I just need it to provide me with all the material for my lessons, really. So it's got to go from one to ten because the teacher's going to do every exercise on the page and everything has to work. Here's teacher B. Yeah, well, the course book's something I use. Like, I might start at exercise one and two, but I might miss out three, and then I might supplement it, or I might take the reading and rewrite the questions a bit, and then I might, I might do my own role play. So it's more of a, like a springboard or a framework for my course. So it's more of a backbone or a framework to the course. The teacher's going to do a couple of exercises, then something else, and then jump to two more exercises and then do something else. Now here's teacher C. Yeah, for me, the course books, it's a place for getting ideas for resources. Like I might look at the, the reading and think, I'll change that a bit or I'll, I'll do a new exercise with it. Or sometimes I like to use the videos in the book and, and experiment with... So for this teacher, the course book's more about ideas generation, helping them with their creative thinking, and then they're going to go off and do their own thing. So for teacher A, it's providing everything to work from exercise one to ten. For teacher B, it's a backbone. It's offering exercises that they can pick and choose from. And for teacher C, it's more a place of inspiration. So when I'm writing my course book materials, Primarily, I'm thinking about teacher A because I want everything to work for that teacher, but I want to provide a nice backbone and skeleton structure for teacher B, and I want to provide lots of inspiration and creative ideas for teacher C. So a couple of questions. If you're a teacher, what do you think the role of the course book is? And if you're a materials writer, what sort of teacher do you think of when you're writing your materials? 